in July, Vermont experienced several days of nonstop extreme rainfall. It wasn't a storm. It was just rain that wouldn't stop. We had nearly nine inches of rain in a few days, causing flash flooding, washouts, and mudslides. One community, Cabot, had, uh, Cabot, Vermont, had damaged every single road in its town. In our capital, Montpelier, was completely underwater. Many businesses still have not reopened. It's been terrible. In total, almost 3,000 homes were damaged. There were almost 90 road closures. The Vermont Severe Weather Flooding and Loss and Damage Survey results estimate that 28,000 acres of ag land uh, of concern to Mr. Bozeman uh, were impacted. Hundreds of small businesses, businesses have filed claims. President Biden and his administration acted very quickly. Uh, the FEMA administrator did a tremendous job, uh, was there on scene to provide reassurance and help right away. And our governor, Phil Scott, worked with state and local leaders and FEMA officials and they got to work very effectively. And our delegation worked together to replenish uh, FEMA's disaster relief fund, something you helped very much on, uh, Senator Schatz. So those are dangerously low and need to be replenished. And while I'm grateful we were successful in uh, supplementing the DRF, more must be done to give our communities the support they need to rebuild. The DRF is far from enough for the farmers, for the small businesses and the communities in my state and across the United States that have faced these disasters. When I toured damage in Vermont, I saw firsthand the way my community came together. And that's what's inspiring to all of us. Somehow they endure. But six months after the floods and the waters have receded. But thanks to the hard work of our first responders, uh, community leaders, neighbors, and FEMA, and the generosity and kindness of strangers, Vermont is getting back on its feet. But if it was your farm, if it was your home, if it was your business, it's still really tough. Across the state, we're in the early stages of rebuilding those locations. But our small communities that don't have millions of dollars to rebuild dams without diverting from other needs like housing and health care are having a real trouble. That's why the Community Development Block Grant that you've been talking about, that Disaster Recovery and Community Development Block Grant mitigation funds are absolutely so critical.